Hello everyone, this is Mara and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Let's see. The spirits are very happy today. They will do their best to show everyone their good fortune. So that sounds to me like we should go and check out the beach. Maybe we can find something, some good to loot there. Dear neighbor, I hope you are feeling settled in your new home. I'm writing to let you know that Pierre's store is now selling fertilizers. Why don't you swing by and see if you can afford a few dozen boxes or so? Um, I'm pretty sure that I can craft those. Yes, I can make some basic fertilizer, so I think we are good. But thanks, Pierre. <laughs> but anyway, let's start with the usual. Let's take care of our crops. And I seriously cannot wait to get the watering can updated <laughs> or upgraded. Oh, it's going to be so useful. We are almost at 2000 actually now since a couple of episodes back. The the episode that got lost because I lost the footage. Um, in that episode, we did have a pretty good amount of money, but I did spend quite a lot of Money actually buying some more seeds. All of these seeds here. So I'm thinking that maybe the next two thousand that we get could be for the for the watering can update. So let's see. We could try and get that money going in this episode actually. But let's make sure that the all the crops are watered. Okay, there we go. Finally. <laughs> so many crops and so much work. Okay, so we have one parsnips. One parsnip. <laughs> and let's go and sell this. And yeah, I'm kind of feeling like I really need to try to get some pine cones. And get some field snacks going because my energy is going down so, so fast. For some reason, I just wasn't able to get any in the previous episode. So let's see, maybe we are having a bit, little bit better luck today. Hopefully. Please. Yes, there's two. Okay, let's chop down this one too. And maybe we can get some more. Awesome. So that's four. Can we get that? Yes, five. Uh, do we have all the other seeds that we need for for the recipes? Let's check, check that out. Um, we do. That's fantastic. So let's make as many as we can. Five is a very good number. And we can go ahead and start start snacking on this. And maybe one more. Okay, awesome. So let's go. I'm always forgetting this. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's actually go and quickly peek up here if we can get any of the any of the crops. That would be very helpful. And yes, there's a leek and there's some berries. Ooh, many leaks. Okay, so guys, if you are following the, the fortune teller channel on the TV, uh, usually when it says that it's 
uh, you are getting good luck, it means that you are able to find a lot of these uh, crops in the wild and find those, uh, you know, um, corals and all those things at the beach. So it's definitely a good idea to go ahead and just, you know, walk around the town and get as many, as many things collected as you can. It's all going to help a lot with the money and all the, all the things. And I do actually know what these statues here are. <laughs> That's something that will be very, very handy, la handy later on in the game. Oh, and since we are here, let's go ahead and see. Oh, Robin is not here. No! I want to go and uh, check out how much does the house upgrade cost. I think it's something like 10,000. But I just wanted to make sure. That's something that I really want to get working on pretty soon. Okay, so let's put all this here. Get all the berries. And let's go to the beach. Whoops. Almost missed that. <laughs> okay, this is going to be so helpful. Oh, and I actually noticed something. Let's do this. Whoops. And we can clear out all of these weeds here and get some mixed seeds. Ooh. And you know what guys, since we are here, let's go to the blacksmith and to the museum before they close. So we can go ahead and uh, donate one of the artifacts to the museum and check out what kind of geode we have here. Oh. Well, <laughs> that was kind of sad. But anyway, let's go ahead. Donate. And... Hmm. You know what? I really want to... Try to make it, make this a little bit more organized, so we could we could do this and let's move this there, and we can put all the ocean themed artifacts here, and all the all the gems can go here, and this scroll could be let's put it there. I think that's nice, and all this random random um artifacts can can go there so it's just a little bit more organized I do like it and for some reason I still can't read that book that's weird hmm I did read this already interesting oh Animals are very sensitive. They like to be fed every day and prefer to eat grass outdoors than dry hay. They don't like being outside in the rain, though. Though, Happy animals produce high quality crops. Oh, there we go. That was the book. <laughs> Actually, now that Penny is not watching, let's go and check out the trash can. <laughs> and now we are going to the beach. Okay, and what's there? Oh, some stones. 
Nothing interesting. Okay, fingers crossed. Is there anything here? At least a couple of corals, so that's nice. And that's pretty much it. But I did notice some berries here, so let's go and grab those. And while we are here, let's actually continue to the west part of the town and talk with her, maybe. I'm tutoring Win Vincent and Chaz today. There are, there are a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. That's very true. So let's see, I think we can actually get quite a lot of berries at least from this area. Oh, yes. Oh, and there's some, da some dandelions too. Awesome, let's organize the inventory a little bit. Okay. And I do want to get all the possible berries that I can find. I'm not sure how much this will actually sell. Um, let's check out. Okay, five, five gold each. So it's not too much, but it's very easy to collect a lot of this. So we might as well do that and get some money from those. So it's not too bad. Okay, and before we head home, let's go and see if uh, we can get any more crops from the other side. And don't get stuck. Oh, some more berries. Or seeds. Definitely not any uh, spring onions here, but we are going to get a ton of these berries, so that's nice. And let's grab these. And I am kind of curious to see how much money we can get from those berries alone. Because we have 90. <laughs> so it's definitely useful to collect as many of them as you can find. And we definitely need the silo very soon. <laughs> the grass is starting to take over the whole place. Okay, so let's sell all of these. We don't need to save any of these, I don't think. And let's sell all the salmon berries. And the fiber too, I don't think we are going to need that. And let's go ahead and plant these. And where is my... 
Where's my little watering can? Okay, awesome. And tomorrow's weather is going to be clear and sunny all day. <laughs> Which we will uh, add to our workload quite a bit, but that's just the life of the farmer. So there we go, guys. We actually made quite a lot of money. Let's see how much we made from the berries. Oh, wow. 450 gold. That's pretty insane. So it's definitely uh, worth it to collect as many berries, berries as you can. It's, they are free, so it's just good money. So there we go. It's the 17th of spring. So thanks so much guys for watching. If you enjoyed this episode of Stardew Valley, please leave a like and I will see you next time. Bye bye.